because of the whimsical nature of the Mamed Merc 3, it's it's a live steam engine and it's good quality. It's got a uh, Smithies type boiler with two tubes coming underneath the boiler, out of the boiler underneath through the fire. It's a pretty good little engine for the price actually. It's a great beginner engine. I painted it after this. Because it's whimsical, I wanted to make a whimsical War Department train. My old Mark's uh, toy train from the 1950s locomotive tender, which I've, you know, added lots to. Original old Mamed gondola, which I put War Department on a number. It's got a nice load, including a sewing machine. In one of my World War I books, there's a great picture of a guy on the very front line, right in the trenches, with his sewing machine. He's got a little sign painted up that says Tailor Shop. And of course, he's fixing everybody's uniform. Uh, armies had tailors, and here's the sewing machine. Another gondola. That is the chassis, the metal chassis of my old American Flyer tender. American Flyer from the 1930s, about 1933. Everything, all the wood, popsicle sticks, and the little ones are stir sticks, all put together with epoxy. And here's the uh, Kobe FT-17 French tank, the first uh, French tank from World War One. Here is a log car. This is my 1933 American Flyer lumber car, which I epoxied in thumbtacks, bent uh, a nail <laughs> for this. Even though this car came beat up, it was bent and both the couplers were broken. Uh, amazingly enough, it came with this original lumber load. The couplers work just fine and they never come undone because I've used four links, four links. And even though I can jostle it around and jostle it around, they just don't come off. Original old Mamad used to look exactly like that one. Canadian National Wet Decal Set. I took the red CN and I cut little pieces to make the cross. And this is supposed to be a big thick white stripe on a CN diesel O gauge. So I cut a piece of that out. And finally, coming up the rear is a little flat car. Original Mamad as well. War Department and a number. So there you have it. It's my, you know, somewhat whimsical but cool toy train on the wall there. German Imperial Navy Ensign, World War I. Here is one of my ancestors that died at the Battle of Manchi le Preux. He was in the Royal Newfoundland Regiment. Well, at the time it was the Newfoundland Regiment. It was the only regiment in the Empire to get a royal title while the war was on. He was a telegraphist for the uh, Newfoundland Railway. Here is an original Ross rifle from 1916. The Canadian Expeditionary Force brought the Ross into battle in France at the beginning of the war. The rifle turned out to be completely unsuitable for battlefield conditions and was replaced. But we'll have to transport back in time and hope for the best. Just so you know, the red mark means it's a dummy round. It's a dummy practice round. This is an original one from 1923. Anyhow, the Newfoundlanders were much more lucky. Even though Newfoundland was a dominion at the time, the regiment they raised became part of the British Army, and therefore, they were equipped with the Lee Enfield SMLE. We're just waiting for the locomotive to heat up on the small garden planter railway while I go over here and eat some tomatoes while I wait. <laughs> 